All right, what is up? What is good? The Wolf is here and uh, checking out Resident Evil 3 Remake Nemesis trailer. Yes, we got a, a nice little sprinkled through trailer of brand new footage of Resident Evil 3 Remake. And uh, I, I have seen this on Twitter already. Uh, I checked it out and it was I only so I've only seen this on like a little phone screen So I have the actual 4k 60 FPS video sitting in front of me So this is, should be just as mind-blowing as as seeing on a little eBay screen the first time um, And I'm gonna end up seeing a lot more details. I already know it. So uh, so this should be fun uh, I do definitely need to run through Resident Evil 3 the original version of the game uh, again uh, very soon, very soon. I'll probably end up streaming a little bit of it on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV backslash Warwolf, and uh, yeah, I uh, I can't wait to to get hands on this. I am probably looking forward to Resident Evil Three Remake more than Doom Eternal or or Final Fantasy Seven Remake or, or like any of that. Um, maybe Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven might be the only thing that I'm a little more you know a little more huh, about so uh hyped up about so anyways let's uh let's get into this chill oh no oh nemesis oh and he's a bad guy very bad guy i got you who are you what do you do carlos i'm safe carlos <laughs> stirs capco the black and white logo, which is... I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Definitely resonate, uh, the RE engine. The city is completely cut off, isolated. We need help. My men cannot do this alone. The but detail... All those things. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. The hunters... She's unreliable. It's me he's after. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. She's so Tomb Raider. She's so Laura Croft in this. Flames over. Oh, my ass is on fire. <laughs> ah, tentacles. There's so many versions of Nemesis in this game. Misters. <laughs> Where you think you're going? Ah! Ooh. Jill, Jill, what happened? Come in. <laughs> April third, twenty twenty. Resident Evil Three. Sorry, I always want. I, I just, I just love doing that. Also includes this shitty online game. <laughs> And pre-order now for the best pre-order skins ever. ever. Jill's, Jill's old, old school, school classic costume. And Carlos looking, I, I don't know. I like Carlos's new look way more than, than this old look. But Jill's old school look, absolutely. One more time on super slow-mo. Half spade. So, first things first, Jill... Uh, this is a very everything about Resident Evil 3 remake screams Tomb Raider to me. Um, for whatever reason, it just it feels so much like the newest Tomb Raider games. And I have I, I've only played Tomb Raider what was it 2013 like the the newest one of the the latest trilogy I guess you could say. Um, that's the only one I've actually ever played all the way through. I've played I've played like the first like five minutes of the other two after that. But this feels really a lot like that. And I'm really wondering, since they do want to make this more, because, you know, Resident Evil 1 was the puzzle game. RE2 is the the scary Resident Evil. RE3 is the action game. RE4 could possibly be reimagined, and I will get to that. Um... I, I really want to make an, another video, so video coming soon, I'll say it right now, of what I think Resident Evil 8 might just be. That will be coming very soon, um, probably within the next week, because I really want to get the video and all these ideas I have and the theories I have that how RE8, Resident Evil 8, could possibly be. 
and I think it would be very cool, and I would love if Capcom seen the ideas that I'm thinking of. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go with, with the way I'm thinking that Resident Evil 8, but Resident Evil 8, I think, will carry off from this right here and what our, and Resident Evil 2 did as well. Um, and, and all, of course, Resident Evil 1 uh, remastered. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll get to that in, in another video. But anyways, so we have a very Tomb Raider-esque, uh, a lot of moments, like Tomb Raider-esque moments in this. Um, you can say Uncharted. I, I say Tomb Raider because, you know, Jill looks like Laura Croft, uh, but set in a very Resident Evil theme. That's the huge one. This absolutely has the Resident Evil theme all over it. It is in the Resident Evil world. It's just like the, I don't know, her her look of her outfit. The the tank top, the the, the pants, the kind of short hair, the the way that she's, you know, the, also the character, like the, the look of her, but the character, the way um, she definitely, she gets thrown around and she's like the survivor, which I feel like this right here, you're seeing her being very um, the same way that 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 Claire and Leon were very um, what's the word like survival types. Um, they are just regular people, and then they're surviving in this world. They don't know how to beat up these freaking monsters and everything, um, which is really really engaging and just makes you feel so much more in you know immersed into the game world. Um, course the uh, like I said I I don't know if I I don't know if I like this uh, like okay Jill first of all the face on Jill looks great the detail of all the the dirt and just being beat up and everything awesome um, I do like Carlos's look a lot more in this uh, it, uh, the new outfit though I kind of don't really I'm not not feeling it as much just because I do, I just picture it being Laura Croft from, from Tomb Raider. Uh, I do like her old classic outfit. And thankfully, pre-ordering, I can have that classic outfit and keep Carlos in this outfit. I hope. I'm pretty sure we're going to have the same costume selection type of stuff that Resident Evil 2 Remake had. Um, and then, of course, the Mayan community will come in on the PC and do a, a fantastic job of doing all kinds of different mods. And yes, that, that type of mod too. Jeez, so thirsty, modders. You're, you're all just thirsty. So, so, just get yourself a drink. Just, just to go, to go take a shower. Seriously. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> just the detailing of, like I said, the, the dirt, the mud, the grime, and oh my God! Like, like, mm, look, look at that. Look at it. Oh, the flames coming off from. Just the, the scarring on the face. He has three noses, or that could be two two very high bone cheeks, one eye, and just it, he has no bottom jaw, his teeth. Man, wow. Seeing it in 4K like that. Woo. That, that's, that, wow. Mmm. That's awesome. It's so, I just want it. I just want it now. I just, mmm. Man. FF7 in this game have, have some of the, the, the craziest details. Uh, and then seeing just the Resident Evil engine in all its glory uh, running f full. I mean, look at Carlos right here. He's got the beard going on. He's got the, you know, like the mop head going on because it's like ran outside. And the, the gun he's using, that's my gun. I mean, oh, this is looking so good. This is looking so good. Down to the subways where everybody's just hanging out. Um... So one th one reason why I really want to play back through OG Resident Evil Three over again is to uh, to remind myself how many of these people are actually brand new because I feel like there's a couple of these people that are probably brand new. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to get that kind of movie s type of thing of like people getting picked off one by one by Nemesis, which would be great. Have like an alien type of thing where where Nemesis like you don't. You don't see him, but all of a sudden, like the tentacle just starts, whoo, and <laughs> like like aliens' uh, tail would like come through and just just swipe somebody up. Have the tentacles and stuff just just all of a sudden just somebody's just gone, 
and it it has that kind of horror moment to it but at the same time you're like oh oh oh, -oh. <laughs> that'd be great uh let's see here so that is absolutely uh one of the main characters returning main characters i cannot for the life of me remember his name um i know that everybody's gonna be like oh my god i, I, I suck at remember names i'm sorry but i do remember he is one of the main characters look at carlos once again like the, the level of detail oh jill just jill just looks great she she looks great so resident evil 2 remake did did a crazy job of actually making me like claire and this i think this is going to make me like jill even that much more jill was always my favorite of of the female it was leon and jill that was my like two favorite characters of resident evil and uh i don't know we're, we're gonna see it's like it's Claire, Claire and, and Jill are like fighting for the top spot right now. Uh, so this this looks very... That's my M4. That is absolutely my gun right there. I, I, I love that that's in the game. This looks um, a lot more like Project Resistance kind of combat of what we see in that. And, uh, and unfortunately, I did not play the beta for Project Resistance. Oh, yeah. The Lizard Man. The clawed up Lizard Man. So instead of Lickers... Oh, you better believe, maybe we got some liquors in this game, but we got Hunters in Resident Evil 3 Remake, which is going to be very interesting to see the detail in, like, just how much they're going to try and, you know, uh, chomp down on you, the, the swipes of the claws and everything. You used to be able to outrun these guys in the older games. I don't think you're going to be able to do it this time, and they're probably going to hunt in packs, way more than the liquors did. I'm thinking... They're gonna be like, uh, like um, uh, the 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 dinosaurs. They're the little guys. They're that hunting in the packs. You know what I'm talking about. Um, can't remember at all what they're called, but uh, just uh, like a a not a hive mind, but they're gonna probably communicate to one another and everything. Imagine the moment where you're stuck in the room. And you got them kind of swarming around a little bit and they're all hur, hur, and they're talking to one another and whatnot. D -d 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 okay, if I make this move, it might just it might just screw me up. I if I go over here, I might be able to just sneak over here and just sneak and then gunk, oh I just knocked something now they're hur. and then you just have a chase scene where you're just being chased out of a building, you jump out of a window and I'm feeling like this is gonna be the action game of the Resident Evil remakes. Uh, oh man, could you see? I I seen a beady eye in there. Hold on, hold on. Rawr. Rawr. Damn it! I'm gonna get this beady eye. Oh look at that! Oh you can kind of see the face a little bit, the jaw lines in there, just a slight little bit. Ah. Oh man! And then and then of course the Russian. I am the bad. I am the big bad Russian. I am going to beat everyone's ass. He's another one of them. I can't. I don't remember him being in the original Resident Evil. So we're going to see. Oh! And Nemesis like looking right around the corner. So so once again, you know, a very Laura Croft kind of uh, moment right there where she's sliding through and she's like, I'm going to save everyone. That hero moment. Um, which is going to be interesting to see how people actually react to the hero moment versus um just a horror game of everything uh this is going to bring in a whole different audience of like the like i said like the tomb raider audience the the uncharted audience the, maybe even the last of us audience uh just that that very detailed flamethrower so it's going to be very interesting seeing just exactly who actually picks up and gets on board with this resident evil um, I, th I think it's going to bring in it's because we already have the horror game audience and the puzzle game audience. Now it's time to bring in the the action game audience. <laughs> the first thing I noticed when I watched this trailer the first time is is totally like Nemesis's hands are nowhere near the car. Look at this. Uh, yeah, yeah, his hands are nowhere even on the car unless he picks the car up and throws it and then just gets squashed by it or she's running him off from the side. Hold on. 
Oh, that's that's I think that's what it is. She's running him off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I see it now. I see it now. I thought he was picking the car up at first. She's totally running him off the side just to see if she can kill him. And then she figures out, oh, no, I just screwed myself up more than anything. Um, so, again, very kind of Tomb Raider-ish moment. Like, she's sacrificing herself to try and, you know, get by pretty much. Um, yeah, yeah. Claire is very shoot to kill, run away. Leon is, I'm going to beat the shit out of this thing, but I'm also going to save everyone. Jill is going to be the... Um, I'm going to sacrifice myself so everybody else can live. And Carlos is just going to be the, the protector to the bodyguard for everyone. So it's it's a pretty good cast going on right now. Um, yeah, different different types of, of nemesis, which is, is very, very interesting. Um, flamethrowers, tentacles... And, you know, you, I think uh, we've seen one of him without the, the whole overcoat on, if I remember right. Um, and, and even more detail underneath the overcoat and everything. I don't know, man. It's going to be it's gonna be insane seeing what people do with this, like I said, in the mine community and everything. It's on Steam. So we're definitely getting a, a PC version and everything. I'm going to be playing it on PS4 Pro uh, when it first comes out for my first, first run through. Absolutely. I'm um, we'll be checking out there. Um, I checked out Resident Evil 2 remake on the same on the same platform, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where I do my launch streams is PS4 Pro. Um, I d haven't seen too much, so I was I've like I said I played RE2 on the PS4 Pro. I'm a uh, I'll, I also played RE2 remake on the um, on the PC. I didn't see too much of a difference on graphics wise other than other than the big one of the of being able to take the vignetta filter off which i really hope it seems like the vignetta filter is totally turned off in resident evil 3 which is awesome um and i really hope we can take off film grain and like uh, um the occlusion and all that stuff like um just be able to customize the graphics to, to, to make it better for our eyes and everything. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake had a very, very thick Vignetta filter on it. And I, uh, I just I hated that. It, I get why it was there to make the game more horror, you know, game feeling, make, get a little more scary. But yeah, um, it just, it kind of, the game didn't need it. It really did not need it. The atmosphere was already set up and everything in RE2 Remake. So it's good seeing that Resident Evil 3 um, is going more of the action game route, like I said. And also, I my big gut feeling for this is we're going to see a lot more of like platformy kind of things. So um, Nemesis is chasing after you. You run through a burning building. You jump over a fire escape. And then you're, you're climbing up the fire escape, jump over to the other building and all this. You know, like the very Tomb Raider-esque kind of, you know, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And... and uh, and jump over the gaps and this and that stuff. It's quick time events probably in there too or something. Um, yeah, my gut feeling is saying that. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. I will, like I said, I'm going to try and be doing a, a live stream of Resident Evil 3 pretty soon within the next couple months. Uh, the original OG on, on Dolphin uh, of just so it looks as good as it can. On, uh, on Twitch and uh, yeah I might I might possibly mod it just a little bit to make like uh, like text you know writing look a little bit uh, neater and everything so uh, yeah be on the lookout for that and more videos coming soon so thanks for tuning in thanks for stopping by and I will see ya next time